Hello, Gugomi here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and I have to say, I love the song for Outset Island. It is such a beautiful song. It's it's so peaceful and nice, and probably is my favorite song in all of Zelda's starting areas. Right up there is Skyloft, and I honestly, I think it's a little better than Skyloft, but hey, that's just me. But yes, last time we learned it was our birthday and we got these uncomfortably warm clothes. How is Link not sweating up a storm? I don't know. And then a, our little sister gave us her telescope and we saw a person fall into the forest up there and now we have a sword. Yep, that pretty much sums up everything. Today, we are not going to go to that person's aid immediately. Uh, I'm still not used to normal Y-axis stuff. But instead, we're going to be... Checking out this ship that's been sort of docked here. Yeah, I got my priority straight, don't I? And I just realized I forgot to start my timer. There we go. Whoa! A customer! Welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Ah, uh, wording. Jeez. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Just use L to browse. And you can see here we can buy bait, which... <clears throat> excuse me, uh, someone mentioned that we could use earlier to bait out pigs. We have the Hioi pair. Uh, he says you can't buy this anywhere else. That's a complete and utter lie. You, can, you totally can. And this is an interesting function, but we don't need it right now. I would like the function behind this. It's not used a lot in this game, but there will be a point where we will need at least one of these. But with that, we want to buy the bait bag, uh, because we can't actually hold any of these without the bait bag. So, I recommend getting at least 20 rupees from cutting grass with your sword, or you can get the orange rupee under Link's house. And buy the bait bag, our first item. You can keep, you can store plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Each patch, yes, it has eight pouches. Each patch can only, each pouch can only, can hold three uh, bait berries or one hyoi pear. And with that, Beatles gives us a member's card. So the more we buy from him, the more he'll give us points. And we can use points to get membership. I don't remember exactly what that gives you because I never really bothered with it too much. Because I want to buy some all-purpose bait. Uh, we won't need it in the right now, but it's for something down the road that I really need. I really want bait for. You're never really going to be too short on money in this game, especially with a change that comes particularly later. But that being said, I do want to buy some of this stuff. And, yeah, we can hear him say, thank you, and now, bye. I love beetles so much. Uh, and if you're curious, you can look at the, uh, yeah, if you want to see what the back of his ship looks like because he can't move around the camera, just enter first person mode. And there you go. You can also look around his ship if you really want to. But yes, this is Beetle's first appearance in Zelda. If you've watched my uh, Skyward Sword series, which if you haven't, I honestly don't blame you. That was a very, that series was not that well done. Though I think it was well done compared to Mario 64 and whatnot. Uh, I did not mean to fall off. Go, get Link. Climb up. Link, don't go to the side, thank you. Yes, you can climb up by pushing towards the uh, bridge. And you can move around by pressing left or right while on the bridge, and that's sort of how you can just, uh, well, just move along the side of the bridge. It'll be useful for something later. Oh, uh, but yes, where was I? I don't even remember what I was saying before. That happens a lot. I, when I go back and watch my videos through editing, uh, and I notice my voice can be a bit... I'm trying to work on keeping a more consistent uh, level with my voice, because I feel like it, it fluctuates too much. Like, I peek the mic sometimes when I don't mean to, and I think it's because sometimes I'll just... Uh, get a lot closer to the mic. Uh, I, I just sort of like lean back and forth. It's just a thing I do. Uh, we're gonna help you cut this grass by you. Uh, let's see what you had to say. Did you hear that noise, Link? Did something happen? What was it? Oh, say, that's a fine sword you have there, buddy. Just look at that thing. Uh, are you coming on? No, I'm not gonna go down the road. You know, you're gonna be a big favor if you cut the grass here for me. Like I mentioned last episode, uh, you can get health drops, hearts which will restore one heart if you were to somehow lose it. If you somehow manage to lose a heart by this point in the game, I'd be impressed. But then again, I guess if you just swam. And this guy's just trying so hard to get us. 
you you try, Snot Nose Kid. You keep trying. These guys do all have names. I just don't know them. Yeah, great way to put it. Uh, let's see what the sign says. Watchtower Forest of Fairies. Excuse me, this is a real war lookout, not a watchtower. But yes, we're going to head to the Forest of Fairies. I didn't actually know the place had a name. You can learn a, a few interesting things by just, well, reading stuff. And we can see the sign here. No entry. The forest passes are closed until the forest paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. Ha! Huh, now you're dead. I mean, I guess signs were never alive to begin with. But yeah, you can go ahead and finally cut down this tree. Seriously, it really is like Pokemon. Can't get past these trees until you have a way to cut them. No other possible way past these trees. Not uh not here. Well, you can see the music. I love how the music fades out when you're going up here because it really doesn't make you feel like you're going on an adventure. Even though obviously this isn't that far. I mean, we started like right down there. Let's see what this says. Fairy fountain sight ahead. Increase your fortune. Hmm. We'll have to keep that in mind. Let's look up here though. I love this place. This is like just sort of a nice lookout place to go to. Like if I lived on this island, I'd be oh, okay just like coming up here and lying down just like overlooking the cliff and all that even though I do kind of have a fear of heights uh I can see an orange ruby over there can I even make that no uh I'm actually curious to see if I can get that orange ruby because I'm willing to bet you can get it by jumping uh down here so if we were to do something like this Nah, oh, I just missed it. No, I'm not sure we'll be able to get it. I could try backflipping up, but yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. Well, I know how we can get that later. I have an idea, but it'll be quite a bit later. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just... This suspension bridge doesn't seem broken. It's missing, like, one plank. That That's about it, right? Yeah, that suspension bridge is fine. I don't know what they're talking about. Though, admittedly, if I actually had to cross that, I'd be, like, super nervous. I'd be like, nope, 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 I'm not going on that bridge. Uh, you can see that, I believe, uh, if we drop down here. I, I said drop down here. Please, Link. We just miss it! There's an orange rupee up there. Is that a yellow rupee? Uh, I couldn't tell. It flashed by for a second. But there is a rupee up there that we can get by just jumping down. I want to get the rupee because I want money. Because even though I said money was not really an issue, go away, snot nose kid. Money is not really an issue in this game, but what the heck. Why not? But we get to hear the nice outset island music again. And of course we get to go classic Zelda. The best way to roll to, to travel anywhere is to just roll. Uh, after playing Breath of the Wild and Skyward Sword so much, it's weird, but ki kind of nostalgic to just go back to having spamming A to be the fastest way to move around. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm willing to bet. Oh, it's a green ruby? Okay, screw that. I'm not doing that for a green ruby. That's not worth it. Is there anything else? I'm gonna try and come over here and see. Use my first person looking around skills. Still not used to the proper button. Yeah, just a green rupee up there. What the heck? I didn't see any other rupee, so. Uh, yeah, I see it right there. We can use the. Hey, telescope, you finally have a use. Yep, it's just a green rupee. Wow. And that is the first time I found a proper use for the telescope over several runs of this game. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh no, we got tagged by the snot nose kid. I, I, I feel embarrassed now. Well, we're gonna cut ahead, so I'll meet you guys in a second. And now, eight minutes into the episode, we are finally ready to go save the person who's in dire need of help. We are great at this hero stuff, aren't we? Well, without further ado, let's head into the forest of fairies. I have to say, I love this place. It's just like... 
I, I, in general, I love the beginning to Wind Waker, and you're going to hear me say that a lot until a certain point, but we'll get to that point when we get to that point. But yeah, you could just sort of like explore. It has a nice scenic feel. It feels adventurous, kind of creepy, yet very relaxing at the same time. Probably being ruined by my commentary, but oh well. We can see we don't really have a way over there. We're going to have to go around. So let's drop down here and see what's going on. And this is why we have weapons. This is a uh, Bokoblin, I believe. I don't actually know the enemy names that well in this game. But yes, they are just your standard enemy, pretty easy to beat, just keep attacking them until they die. I am great at this, explaining stuff. But yes, I will be going over each enemy we can get to. There should be another enemy in here, I believe? Uh... I don't- okay, maybe I'm thinking of something else. But uh, yes, there's a red ruby in there, that's nice. I thought there was another enemy in there that we could encounter, but I think it appears there later. Uh, yes, you can come back to this place later and stuff will change. Uh, we can see a gigantic rock over here. So why don't we see what the sign says? Uh, if we can get up there, thank you. Fairy Fountain Sight. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met the great fairy was who lived here was blessed with great fortune. So it became known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. Unfortunately, we can't get in. This giant rock's in the way. Well, no fortune for us. Look at that. I love the noises the enemies make in this game. It's like they try to sound so threatening, but like even as a kid, I always just found them really entertaining. Uh, and this guy does like a flying uh, roundhouse kick. I know how to do that too, buddy. Not in the game, but I know how to do that in real life. I'm kind of bad at it, but I do know how to do a flying roundhouse kick. Ouch! Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss... Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank the god... Thank goodness, you're safe! When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. That's what you have to say? Well, don't just stand there, let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on! Oi, big brother! Ugh, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> what? You want to come with us? On our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates, the terror of the sea. What do you? What do we get of bringing? 
What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know you how you must feel with your sister be having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, just who are you? Where you come up butting into someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that a few big bad pirates had to come to this quiet little island. That poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, I'll tell you. Wow, you have guts to set doing that to a band of pirates. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether no matter whether you've heard it or not, it seems to be the case. Lo young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also had long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? Hmm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island has something that has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say your goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. So, your only requirement for having a kid go on a super dangerous adventure in an evil fortress is for him to have a shield. Honestly, from my understanding, it's more effective to wield a sword with two hands because you get more power with each strike and you can better control the sword. But, hey, what do I know? I never even wielded a sword before. Actually, no, I've had I've held a sword once. Like, for fencing, and that's it. So, I've, I've, I've held a, an epee, I believe? So there's that. Uh, we're going to cut down these trees and cram this yellow ruby. And let's go see Grandma. Surely she knows about this at this point. Uh, what do you have to say first? Link, I thought I heard Earl's voice cry from far away. Is it... Is it really true? What is it, Link? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Aril? Is she still playing outside with the goals? And not being the dutiful grandson, we're just gonna go up and take her shield. Link. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. I guess it's true. Ariel really has been kidnapped. Hasn't she? 
What kind of monster could take such a sweet, young child? Oh, hey, real. That to me was always one of the more touching moments of the game. I don't even know what to say after that. Well, we finally have our shield, so... And also, the song that played when uh, Link's grandma hands him the shield, that is also one of my favorite songs in the game. It's very appropriate for the mood. So without further ado, we've said our goodbye to our only family left on this island. Then why don't we go ahead and talk to the other people one more time, since we're all together like a tight-knit community, or at least it's implied that. Link, are you going somewhere? No? Link, your sister, Ariel, she's... Don't tell me. You're not going to board that ship and try to save her, are you? Sometimes you can find things in the grass when you- Wow, you are just oblivious to everything going on around you. You do not hear the giant bird screech, or Link screaming and almost falling off the giant cliff, or everyone else freaking out. Good job, buddy. Good job. You can see there's a green rupee under there we can crawl to get. I might as well just to show what's under here. Uh, if I can please. Yes, yeah, so you can't crouch with your sword and shield out as you will just- go into a defense position, but that defense position will be very useful for other things, to say the least. Uh, you, this is a great way to just sort of block attacks coming in forward. But we never win in this house, let's see what's going on here. And there's absolutely no one. Oh hey, money! Let's go steal their money! Ooh, wait a second. I've never been in here before. I don't know what's in here. Let's steal their money. Oh boy, we took their life savings of 20 rupees. The fact that it was hidden under the bed probably means it was something like life savings. Jeez. Well then, not to say 20 rupees will gift you a lot, but still. I believe we look up here... We can see, okay, I thought there was a picture of a purse for a second that would show whose house this is, but no. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skill? No. Do not begrudge the effort required to build strength. If you change your mind, come see me. I will be happy to train you. I kind of wish these guys would have just a little more to say about what's going on. I mean, Link's about to embark on a journey he doesn't even know if he's ever going to return from. I mean, of course he's going to because he's the protagonist and he has protagonist powers and this is a Nintendo game. But, I mean, realistically speaking, they don't know that. For all Link knows, he could be going on the final journey, and this is the last time he's ever going to see his family and his friends. What's the matter, my lad? You look pale. Is everything alright? You're a smart lad, Link. You'll find that everything I've written down and tacked in my world will be very useful in life. A lifetime of knowledge. All for you. Just be sure to take the time to read it all through very carefully. 
If you don't, you'll surely end up like that useless hooligan of a little brother of mine who lives downstairs. My stars, what was that racket outside? Well, at least he acknowledges that something happened. That's better than Mr. Cutting Grass doesn't notice a thing. Let's go and see the house up here and then we'll be ready to go. Oh, Link, you look cute as a bug in that outfit. I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell the truth, I could congratulate myself too. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't it a delightful addition to the place? I was actually thinking, keep of thinking of keeping a pet, of getting a pet, and keeping it in here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. What do kids like these days? Listen, dear, if you see any good pets around here, be a lamb and just bring one here. If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but we won't tell your grandma about it, will we? Well, if I'm correct, there shouldn't actually be anyone in the house as this belongs to the woman, the guy who was looking at the black pig earlier, and the two kids, so there should be no one in here. Yep, I was completely right. But we can see their beds. I like how one of them sleeps on their own and the other have... Uh, there, there, there's three on the other bed. Those beds look like they'd be uncomfortable to sleep in. It looks like they're just, the, the mattresses are just made of wood. Well, why don't we grab that really quick before heading out? After all, it will be our last time at this island. For a little bit, at least. Maybe forever. We might as well leave this on a positive note. Helping someone, right? Uh, don't you dare go in the water. Don't you dare go in the water. Don't. Yes, once it goes into the water, it's pretty much helpless, but if it gets too far out, you can't actually grab it. But the guy was thinking about getting the black pig. So, we're just going to get the black pig. Why did you bring that why did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking about getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home, you sweetie. Oh Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. And hooray! We also know that's one other person's lifetime saving, so. Why, this little darling is as cute as a button. You know, it's so cute I wouldn't mind having even more of them. Say, Link. Did something happen to you? You don't look well. Well, at least we could leave this place on a happy note knowing we helped someone. It's time. Let's head out. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? How much longer do you think this is going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? 